Hi guys, Dane here, and today I have something super exciting because today I'm saying thank you. I'm actually filming this slightly in advance because it's a bank holiday weekend here in the UK, so I'm going to head off and stay with my mum for a little while, so that's going to be lovely. However, because of that, I wanted to film this before I left so I can use my backdrop and all this stuff. And so I'm on 1,492 subscribers, but by the time I have edited this and uploaded it, hopefully we will be on, <laughs> on 1,500, otherwise this will be an irrelevant video. But yes, thank you so much for 1,500 subscribers, guys. I mean, you can probably tell how excited I am. I never thought I'd get anywhere near this, it's, and I know everyone says that, but I mean... I don't know, I'm in a weird situation because when I started booktubing, I was on about 750 subscribers anyway because I'd had my YouTube channel, if you look on my about page, it's been there since like 2006. Throughout the years, I've uploaded various videos, I've had music videos and writing videos and all this stuff. But I never really got involved in the community and to be honest, looking back on it, I'm really sad about that because of this missed opportunity. Because I've been using YouTube for years, you know. So in this video, basically I want to say thank you guys for 1500 subscribers, like believe it or not, because of, again, because I had this head start and then things like Small Booktuber Sunday and other bits and bobs like that, I went from like my 750 to 1,000 subscribers pretty quickly within maybe a couple of months. And then it's been about five months going from 1,000 to 1,500 because this is actually building my audience more than that first 1,000, if that makes sense. So big thanks to everybody who's joined me. Well, everyone who was here early and also everyone who's joined me since then and everyone who watches my videos. So in today's video, we've got a few different things. So the first thing I want to say is that I'm going to be doing a Q&A. This is to celebrate hitting 1500. I will probably do another giveaway when I hit 2000. But in the meantime, I want to do a Q&A. Never done one of these before. So I'm inviting you guys to let me know in the comments below any questions you have. And I will give it a week or two weeks, something like that gather up all the responses and film a Q&A video. So that's very exciting, I've never done that before. So please do let me know in the description box below what questions you have. To be honest, a lot of people say like, oh there's very little that's out of, out of limits. I don't know, I can't think of anything that is out of limits, out of bounds, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, just feel free to ask any questions you want about books, life, work. I'm also going to be sharing a blooper video because that's kind of my tradition for each milestone pretty much ready to go to be honest. I've been editing it as I go along. It's about six minutes solid of bloopers. I think about 100 odd bloopers. So that'll be out soon. I just wanted to post this thank you video first. Competition news. So for those of you who watched my haul all the way through, I kind of put a little Easter egg in there, I guess, which is that I said I would be giving away a copy of Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstainer because I had a spare copy. So what I'm going to do now, super, super quickly. Should we do this with a, uh, yeah, let's do this with Hypercam. Why not? Here are our four entries, look. Miriam, Amelia Rue, Ellie Wiltshire, and Joe Smith. We put in one to four. I bet it's Miriam now, and it looks like it's biased, but... Number one! It's Miriam! <laughs> Alright. Well, there we go. So Miriam, I'll get in touch. At least that makes it kind of easy, because I know that I will eventually speak to Miriam at some point. So Miriam, I will be sending you this copy of Soviet Milk, and I think I'm also going to bundle in one of my books as well, especially because you were so kind to buy a copy of Eyes Like Lighthouses. So I will, I guess I will give you your choice of which of my other books you want, just just as a nice little thing to do. And, uh, you know, hopefully she'll also review it as well. But anyway, okay, what else have we got? We have also one other thing that I want to do is like a reverse Q&A. So basically, I've got five questions I want to ask you guys. And if you could let me know your answers to these in the description, like one, two, three, four, five, that'd be super useful. Uh, basically, it's just all about trying to make my YouTube channel better, trying to do more of what you like, less of what you don't like. I mean, at the same time, obviously, I want to do stuff that I do like doing. I think one of the big things everyone's like, oh, well, people don't like reviews very much. And it's true, I do occasionally get a dislike on a review. But at the same time, I get so many lovely comments from people. Like, for example, my 45-minute long Agatha Christie review recently of, of her autobiography, which I wasn't sure if anyone was going to want to want to watch even, but I wanted to make it because I wanted to think more about that book, if that makes sense. And you think more about books if you spend time filming yourself talking about them and then editing them and discussing them in the comments and stuff. You just think about m books more. So... So I filmed that because I wanted to film it, basically, and everyone was really nice about it, and I had some lovely comments from people I didn't expect going, oh, I'm glad you reviewed this. Someone was like, thanks for putting the effort in, and I'm like, thanks for noticing that this took fucking ages. <laughs> All right, anyway, so the reverse Q&A. So there are five questions. Question number one, what do you want to see more of and less of? Question number two, 
How do you feel about the music I use in the background? Is it distracting? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Is it just right? Would you prefer no music? Question number three, are you happy with daily videos? Because that's basically my upload schedule. Would you prefer more videos, less videos? For example, with my Archive 5 videos, I could break those up into individual videos and just do two videos a day for a while. So that's always an option. Or again, do you prefer just the one video a day and potentially to have some longer videos where I group them all together? Let me know. Question number four, what about the length? So again, coming back to things like the Archive 5s and my big long Agatha Christie review, are you happy with the length of my videos? They, some are short, some are long. Would you prefer them always to be longer, always to be shorter? Uh, yeah, and I mean, yeah, yeah. And question number five, is there anything else that you want to tell me? So any feedback within reason, you know, don't just troll me and say I hate you. But if you want to say, oh, I don't think much of... Maybe you're like, your videos are always slightly wonky, which they are, which they are. I do have a spirit level on this stand. Unfortunately, my stand's a bit knackered, but apparently this is more level. We will see in the editing, I guess. So yeah. And the final thing I wanted to mention is just a quick life update, really, and that's that Becca and I are looking at moving house. We've actually viewed this really beautiful place, uh, which we're, we're hopefully putting an offer into to rent. We're not buying, we are just renting, but we're looking again somewhere a bit more, you know, a bit more rural because basically, where we live at the moment, we pay a lot of money just for the privilege of living where we live. And Becca drives and doesn't mind commuting, and I work from home, so there's really no reason for us to live here. We pay quite a lot of rent for quite a small space. And to be honest also, because I work from home, I want a room that I can use as an office. At the moment, this is my office, but it's also our living room, you know. So hopefully, if this place does go through, We'll have that and I will have a full office and I'll be able to get my bookshelves all the way around the walls Get myself a standing desk in front of the window over the back garden We don't have any gardens here as well Actually the back garden in this place we've viewed also has a metal shipping container which Basically I can get a drum kit in there and I can probably also get my green screen over there to do one entire wall Which just makes green screening so much easier and you know, I don't really very often do it But I, I could do it. There's no reason why I shouldn't and actually this brings me back to the feedback and stuff, whether do you want to see more creative videos? I could probably do things like, again, because of the green screen, I can do skits where I'm in Hogwarts, for example. So I can try and do some more creative stuff like that. The only problem is I can't act. I can sing a bit, so we can do some more musical stuff. But yeah, here are some pictures of this place anyway. And I think that is it. So thanks a lot for everyone for all of your support, especially to you guys who watch my videos often and who I talk to in the comments and whose channels I watch as well. I mean, that's what I like the most is actually that a lot of my most prolific viewers, I guess, the people who I see on my videos the most are also channels and booktubers who I just really love. And so it's just... A, it's like a, an, an honour and a privilege to have them watching my content. But B, you guys, if you're watching, keep doing what you're doing because I freaking love this community. And uh, yeah, thanks for 1500. Bring on 2000, I guess. And in the meantime, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what questions you have for the Q&A and also your answers to my reverse Q&A questions. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. And also just, I guess, to show your support. Let's see if we can set a record for the most likes one of my videos has got. I'm currently, the, the, the record is currently 37, so we need to try and beat that. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and help me get towards 2000. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.